What's going on, ballers? Thanks so much for tuning in again, and welcome back to another Big J Basketball box break video. Today, we're not breaking any boxes because we got another big mail day from Card Hobby. Three packages just jam-packed with tons of stuff in here that I can't wait to get through. Um, and the good news is that Card Hobby seems to be catching up. So the last Card Hobby mail that we did, we did it in three parts because they were so backed up. I had like four months worth of cards they needed to ship me. This package um, came super, super, super fast. So I just sent everything to be weighed and shipped like a week ago. And <laughs> within a week, they were already here from China. So hopefully we don't have to wait too long for our card hobby mail days anymore. Hopefully they're on a better schedule. But let's go ahead and just get into our first batch of cards right here. So we got some set chase stuff. Jimmy Buckets from the 2023 Elite Series set. So I'm going after the color match, uh, or I guess the, the best color match I can I can find for most of these players. Uh, there's no red pa parallel to this. Um, so I went with the purple. Looks pretty good with the, the jersey in that, in that photo. Mostly white jersey with a little bit of red. And this purple doesn't look too far off. Uh, this is numbered out of 49. Um, so yeah, blue, green, or purple. I think I'm going with purple. On that one, although the one the the one parallel that would have looked awesome with this is the black one of one. Actually, I know the guy who who bought that one pretty recently, um, so unfortunately, I wasn't probably going to spend that much to uh, on that set chase. But that would have been a really cool card. I'm happy with the purple though. Um, next card we got uh, more from 2012 Elite Series. So again, trying to get as many of these inserts as I can whenever I find them. This Court Vision insert is definitely the rarest of all the inserts from this set, uh, numbered only to 49. Brandon Jennings, not a super valuable card, but it is. these are tough to find. So nice addition there. Got another, not super huge card, but at least one of the somewhat better players in the set, Mello, numbered to 275. Add that and then I got this from one seller, one huge lot of a bunch of base cards. So there's probably going to be a lot of dupes in here. I bought this huge lot and I think I only need like, I think only like four or five of these were cards I actually needed. Jonas Jerebko was actually one of them that I was having trouble finding. Boris Dia, he was another one. Um, I think I have most of the others. I know I have Vince Carter, Paul George, I think I needed. Um, Rashid Wallace, I'm pretty sure I needed. Um, kind of a bummer these weren't even like individually sleeved, but eh, that's okay. I'm not grading into these things. They're not, they're not like that beat up or anything. Um, let's see. Drew Holiday, pretty sure I had him. Lamar Odom. Joakim Noah, I needed him for the set. Um, that might be it. I think the rest of them might be dupes. I'd have to double check. Yeah. So big stack of base here. Um, now that I have these, I have one more mail day coming from Com C that Com C is still really slow. It might take them a while to get their mail to me. But once that Com C order comes in, I'm going to be down to, I think, like less than 25 cards total for this set. I think I need like maybe eight more rookies and something like 13 or 14 vets. Um, so hopefully I can keep finding those and make some progress in that set. I actually complete that set. Um, all right, we got a big of the Avalanche now, as we always do. So tons of Denny stuff that I'm always finding on Card Hobby, super cheap. Um, or, but the ones that aren't cheap are usually nice, rare cards I can't find anywhere else. But this was definitely one of the cheap ones. Double team bagged. This is just a 2022 Optic Red. I have a bunch of parallels of this uh, set, but this color match red, I just <laughs> I didn't have. Numbered out of 99, so... Nothing crazy there. This, um, I got this set or this this lot here from one seller. It was one seller who had like nine different Denny lots um, with a bunch of cards kind of thrown in. Most of them were Prism. And I tried to win a few of them to kind of save on shipping. This was the only one that I won. And I think I actually have <laughs> all these already. This is the blue numbered out of 199. This is just a silver. This purple is numbered out of 99, which I don't think I have. And I had one of these, but I ended up getting this lot so cheap, I, I wasn't bummed about getting another one, red, blue, purple. I like that it has, it's the choice parallel, it's got a red and a blue 
both in it, so kind of a dual color match. The purple kind of ruins it, unfortunately, but this is numbered out of only 15. This one's 13 out of 15. Um, so I already have one of these, so I'll probably end up flipping uh, one of them. I've got some more nice, cool, rare Denny stuff here. This one is from 2022 Recon. And this is the first off the line swirl. Three out of three. Hey, what's three times three? Booyah! Multiplication table, jersey number card. But this might be one of my lowest. I don't have any one of ones. I don't think I even have any Denny cards numbered to two. So this one to three actually might be my rarest serial numbered card of Denny in my entire PC now that I think about it. But that'll go nicely into my Denny binder, which I should show off my Denny binders at some point. I gotta, gotta work on that. This one is from 2023 Donruss. This is the Choice Parallel Blue. Number to 49, again, I hate the font that they used on some of these. It's so faded and hard to see. 14 out of 49, I think that is. Uh, I hope they stick with the, the regular numbering, which it looks like they've gone back to and they've been sticking with it. They just had a couple Don Russ and some other ones that looked kind of weird. Uh, some of the prison parallels at the beginning of 2023, but they're back to normal with these. 44 out of 49, purple. Again, I love all these elite parallels they look so nice and speaking of elite we got one more here this is definitely one of the bigger ones i was excited to find got the true gold numbered eight out of ten so we got his new jersey number it's too bad we didn't get a photo of his new jersey number him wearing uh, number eight on this card but i just love i love the shine on these cards that has that kind of gold vinyl look to it very, very cool. Denny to 10. We got some more Denny uh, Prism Parallels. So I've, I've gotten, I think, most of the color match serial numbered ones for 2023 already. Blue Ice, numbered out of 125. 90, 090. That says there's a 9 in there. It's kind of close to a jersey number. Not really, but I'll count it. Um, next one, we got another blue. This is the Blue Fast Break. These are to 150, I believe. Yep, 66 out of 150. And we got another Fast Break here. This is the Red Fast Break. And these are numbered out of 100, 94 out of 100. So got a ton of these Prism Parallels already. Got another Prism Parallel here. A really, really rare one that I haven't really seen available much. This is the Super Short Print Glitter Parallel. That's a retail exclusive. They're not numbered, um, but these are really tough to find. And even kind of like a lot of the no-name vets still sell for, for, for some good money. This was the first one I was able to find for Denny. I think after I bought this, I finally saw one get listed on eBay with a buy it now. It's a little too high. I got definitely got this one cheaper. I think this was like, I don't know, eight, nine or 10 bucks, something like that. Not super expensive, but it's one of those parallels that is gonna be super hard to find, I think. Being a retail exclusive and being as short print as it is, I've opened a lot of prison retail. I haven't not hit uh, any of those. All right, we got some Denny Rookie stuff now, some uh, numbered inserts from his rookie year. This one is gonna be from Illusions, which doesn't get a ton of uh, love as a product. But this is the Rookie Vision, and it is the Gold Parallel, numbered 10 out of 10. Really nice looking card, I think. Gold always adds always adds a lot to, to each card, so that one's gold to 10. We got another one right here, not from Illusions, but another kind of under the radar Rookie Year set. This is from Certified, and this is gold team but this is actually the green parallel of gold team numbered five out of five so we got a 10 out of 10 here and a five out of five here so some pretty nice hard to find rare denny stuff cards that just never seem to pop up anywhere else uh card hobby seems to be so good for that and here's another one just like that and hoops red explosion 13 out of 15 one of the rarest hoops parallels out there from uh, 2020 like the red color match explosion and explosions always look cool so any kind of explosion of any color 
is always going to look nice. But I had not seen any of these sell really ever. So I was pumped to find this on eBay or on, on Card Hobby. And I think I the closing price on this was almost nothing. It was definitely under 10 bucks. It might have been under five bucks. It might have been like four dollars or something like that. Um, so I definitely bid a lot more than that. But I was super pumped uh, to win this one. A nice color match. Super short print card. Rookie for Denny that I did not have in my PC yet. Here is another one that I got super, super cheap. Let's get the plastic off first. And this is from Donruss. Rookie Auto, numbered out of 99, 60 out of 99. I got this for like three bucks. <laughs> so this is the choice parallel. It's got the uh, that uh, Escher Squares, mojo infinite uh choice parallel or choice um service effect on it so that was pretty nice addition couple more denny rookies here and we actually have a couple big denny cards i'm saving till the very end um this is from chronicles this is the cornerstones quad patch auto this is numbered at a 25 16 out of 25 Kind of a bummer that it's a sticker auto. I really don't like, especially for his rookie year where everything is also not game-worn. So sticker auto and not game-worn patches. But I just like this set so much, and I've been trying to find one of these for a reasonable price for a really long time. I've seen a couple sell on eBay. They always sell higher than I thought they should sell, considering it's a sticker auto. Um, but I think a lot of people really like the, these quad patch cards like this. So very cool one for the PC there. And these two... Are packed together because I got them from the same seller. There was one seller selling a bunch of really cool rare Denny stuff and I was able to snag a few that I still needed for the PC. So this first one here is from Contenders and this is the finals ticket on card auto numbered out of 49. So there's so many different variations and parallels of these uh, between regular paper contenders and contenders optic. Uh, but this finals ticket to 49 is one I've been after for a really long time. This is the base. Um, so if it was if it was the photo variation, there'd be a V on the back here. I actually do already have the photo variation to 49, but I didn't have the base to 49. So I've been waiting to find one of these for a really long time. So very happy to find that. And then from the same seller, also got this really nice rookie auto from Clearly Donruss. This is the hollow silver numbered seven out of 10. So really cool card here. I didn't, again, sticker auto. I don't have a ton of these, but I really like clearly Don Russ. I already have the sticker auto, um, the mosaic case hit, super short print. I don't know how many of those are in existence. Probably not a ton. I, you don't really see them. And obviously this being the 10, not a lot of these either, but man, I really like when they are able to add like a shiny surface effect to clearly Don Russ. It just looks so cool. So very nice. Denny added to the PC there. So we got one more package. Got some Manu and Zoe stuff in here and a couple more Denny cards. So let's just get right to this last batch here. So if you saw the other mail days I did uh, from Card Hobby, also had one of these. Oh man, that I hope that's just the... Uh, Okay, the top loader has a big, <laughs> see that, look at that, I saw that and I was like, oh no, please tell me that's just the top loader and not the card. Oh no, 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 man. This got dented severely somehow. And this is such a bummer because uh, I had one of these, I just sent it off in my consignment uh, consolidation to upgrade to a better Ginobili card. And um, that one is already listed on eBay, so I can't buy it back now. And I was like, well, that's fine because I have another one coming. And now, of course, this one's coming. That just game is damaged. That freaking stinks. Oh, well. Maybe I can get someone to buy the other one and sell it back to me, and then I'll sell this one. Uh, that stinks. I wonder if it got damaged while I was in the top loader or if it got damaged because someone used a... Damage top loader. Oh man, that is such a bummer. I hate this when that happens. All right, let's try and get back on a positive note. So next one here, we got uh, from Revolution. So Ginobili was only in 
One revolution set ever, the very first one, 2015-16. So cool that it's first year revolution. And this is the, I think the Cosmic Parallel. And I got this one because it was jersey number 20 out of 100. I don't have a lot of jersey numbered Ginobili stuff. And I got this pretty cheap, so I thought that was a cool one to add. All right, we got a really nice patch here from one of my favorite patch sets that I've, I'm trying to get some more patches from this set. So not the best patch, still three color though. We got the black, uh, the gray, and the white, and it's still a nice thick, chunky patch. But I've seen a lot of patches from this set that are really, really cool. I've tried to buy some Alonzo Mourning patches from this set, and I lost every time. Someone always outbid me. But this is number 25 out of 25. So this is the prime parallel from Crusade. It's the Majestic patch from Crusade. Uh, that's all we got for Ginobili, I think. Got a couple morning cards. This one I already had, um, but it was so cheap I just grabbed another. Um, this is from 2021 Prism, Fast Break Bronze. These are numbered to 20. This one is 11 out of 20. So nice morning there. And the reason I threw that up in the back. I wanted to show that off while I was showing off this flawless base. So this is the first year 2012. I don't, I have to check the checklist. I don't know if morning is in the first year set, uh, but I got this in one of my recent Card Hobby mail days. It's found a lot of nice flawless cards on Card Hobby and I saw this one as well. So this is from the 2014-15 set. You can see it down there. At the bottom, love these encased flawless cards. And surprisingly, um, the case is actually in pretty good shape. A lot of times I get these through the mail and these cases are all scuffed. Like this one, unfortunately, has a bunch of scuffs and kind of marks and lines on it right there. Uh, but luckily, this one actually turned out pretty good. So very nice morning. All right, just a couple more cards. We got a graded card from from Denny, um, and where is the seam on this? There we go. I'm gonna crack this one out of the case. I didn't buy it because it was a graded card. Um, it is gem mint though, uh, but this is gonna go in the binder. Great expectations from Donruss, retail exclusive, red parallel to 99. Again, I've never, I don't think I've ever seen one of these sell ever. So you think to 99 it will be more available, but these are just super hard to find, uh, these retail parallels. So let's put that Denny over here. All right, and I threw that Galactic up there for a reason because we got another Revolution rookie to show off. And we can see on the back already, this one, two out of 10. This is the Lava Gem Mint 10. So this is the Galactic. So these are, I think, probably his two rarest um, hobby parallels. So the Galactic, I don't know the exact print run, um, but there's not a lot of PSA 10s out there. And I, this one that I bought is the only one I've ever seen for sale in a, the PSA 10. So I made sure to grab that one. I've seen a few Lavas actually sell in a PSA 10 over the years. Um, I think the only one, the only parallels that are rarer than these are some of like the uh, Tmall or Chinese New Year ones. I think there might be a one of one. Uh, I know there's like uh, hollow gold to eight, I think from Chinese New Year. Um, so but in terms of the hobby parallels, the Galactic and the Lava to 10 are the two rarest. And this one's also a PSA 10, which the Revolution used to grade really well, I think, because the, the backs and edges used to be white. Now they're uh, uh, dark on most of the cards, so it seems like they're not grading as well as they used to. But very happy to pick this one up. And then the last one here, got another Denny Prism rookie in a PSA case. Where is the seam there? There we go. So if you guys have been following the channel for a while, you know I've been trying to pick up PSA 10 rookies of Denny in all of his red and blue jersey color match serial numbered parallels. This is to 125. So this is the blue cracked ice PSA 10. So I've been trying to I've been buying raw copies of these, trying to grade them. I keep getting like eights and nines and never get any good grade. And I've never actually seen a PSA 10 for sale. Tried searching on eBay, looked in card ladder sales history, no sales anywhere of a blue ice PSA 10 Denny rookie. So 
when I saw this pop up on Card Hobby, I was like, I gotta get it no matter what it takes. So maybe I overpaid, I paid like a hundred bucks for this. So probably too much. Um, but this was the last one I needed to complete that project I was working on. So hopefully pretty soon I'll get to post, uh, I'll, I'll get a nice family shot of all these, post a picture on Instagram with all the red and blue PSA 10s now in my collection for Denny. So super, super pumped to get that one. I still have a raw copy actually that I'm still planning on sending to PSA. Maybe I can get another copy, but wow, big one right there for my Denny PC. That's going to do it. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this mail day. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you all on the next video.